entertainment and lifestyle. You beauty. Both of these groups are known for having very little filter. And although they may seem like an unlikely match, elderly people and preschoolers actually have a lot to learn from each other. Yeah, they do indeed. And that's exactly what they're doing at an aged care home on Sydney's northern beaches. And our very own Today reporter, Bethan Yeoman, popped by for a play session to take a look at the revolutionary program. On paper, they're a match made in heaven. With no jobs or exams to worry about, the elderly and preschoolers have seemingly endless free time to interact and play. But their varying levels of energy don't often bring them together. Do they get tired at the end of the day? Are you a bit energetic for them? <laughs> the little diggers in Sydney's northern beaches visit their grand friends three times a week to get the elderly up and active forcing them to use their hands, eyes and ears much more than they otherwise would. They like our pictures. Mm, we do like your pictures, don't we? Because they're all nice and bright. Do you do other activities with your grand friends? Oh, yeah. What other activities do you do? Oh, some, some we do cutting out. What have you learnt from your grand friends? What more please? I'm painting. Uh, and hugging. And shaking the hand. For many older Australians, aged care is a lonely experience. 40% receive no visitors, while 50% report depressive symptoms. And it's a problem even the children are aware of. Do you think they get a bit lonely without you? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and why do you think they get lonely? Because they... Because they are um, Because they are um, really sad. But this program is turning the outlook around, forging bonds between unlikely friends through play and cuddles, giving the elderly their much needed human interaction. And research shows the tiny tots are much more motivating than any carer when it comes to improving mental and physical health. Stepping over the boundaries adults may not all in the name of fun to see a bright child just laughing and trying to get you to join in with them is so good and I think it's made a big difference they're not as, as uh, shy or reserved they will ask questions they'll make comments that are, that are funny but what is less documented is the benefit the interaction has on the children who learn greater levels of compassion and understanding of their older friends children can be very caring uh, they have the whole range of emotions like and and capabilities um, the de developing like adults do and uh, unless they have that contact they don't use those abilities Irene Axton moved to the care home with her husband 17 years ago he died two and a half years ago had Al Alzheimer's disease he was in the nursing home for um, 18 months before he died. She says losing him could have been an extremely isolating experience, but the family atmosphere of the home and the children's smiling faces helped her through. I know a lot of people don't have the, the um, privilege of having a large family and they don't have a family at all. And life can be very difficult for them. You don't have that uh, combination of different age groups in your life. It's, it can be very hard. For Harry Malpass, the weekly dose of laughter is keeping him young at heart. You don't consider yourself old. Uh, everybody else is old, but you're not old. He's now 90 years old, but still relishes dressing up as Santa each year to grant wishes to the little diggers, who continue to surprise him with their smarts. That is good. If you can't work it out, give it to your grandchildren. <laughs> the aged care home is now hoping the program will spread around Australia and change the country's attitude towards intergenerational care. Who's going to big school next year? Me! And who's going to miss their grand friends? Me! And who's going to come back and visit them? Me! Adorable. Uh, it was a resounding yes there for Beth. <laughs>